welcome back to Playtime with Dolphy. Um, I'm pretty much where you left me last video. I'm still in my cafe, but there's one change. I, I actually figured out how to change my eye color. So now it's pretty close to what my eyes are like in real life. Now the game wants us to go back and talk to Kiva. Hopefully the sound's a little better this time. I think my display case is fine as it is right now. I did debate making more food before starting the stream, but I wanted to make another video, so <laughs> I can make more food sometime today when I'm not recording. Okay, path to the mountain. Oh, I unlocked a design. Path to the mountain. Meet the townspeople to learn about the mountain path. Now, they may have changed um, the story a little since the last time I played. I I honestly have not played this game in a while, so I'm going in pretty fast. This is so pretty. The, like, the color palette in this game is so faded and pastel and yet bright at the same time, if that makes sense. Oh, here's the townsfolk. Maya? Maya? Uh, I'm gonna go with Maya. When they talk, it reminds me so much of the Animal Crossing noises. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. This is about the mountain's blockage, pickle of beans. As much as I'd love to know what a pickle of beans is, um, I'm gonna assume this has to do with the mountain's blockage. Can I help? a member of the Owl Club. Bottle on top of the hill next to the cafe. Got it. I unlocked a design. Let's go back near the... Oh, I see, I see the giant bottle. Okay. <clears throat> I do see the giant bottle. Ah! Okay. Oh, so cute! Oh, when its name is Poe. Look at him! He's so cute. My husband absolutely loves ravens and crows, so this is for him. I'm gonna walk around with a little Poe on my head. The way it keeps flapping, somehow I get the image that you can use Poe to fly around. <laughs> oh, there's another little wing back. I'm gonna put you down and go bug your friend. What's your name? Inkwell? Oh, Inkwell is such a cute little name. Let me wiggle you. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There's a squishy. Oh, I don't think it like that. Okay. Let's go in here. Oh, look at the giant flowers. I forgot just how cute this game is. <clears throat> I don't want to stop. I want to talk to you. And Autumn is a cat magical ball. Actually, a calico cat magical ball. Mm, Autumn. Autumn. <laughs> <clears throat> 
I'm betting you want me to look for your missing cat. Of course, I could help you look for your cat. Back to town I go, I guess. I unlocked another design. So this is actually where you can buy potions at. Which I am super broke right now, so I'm not going to be wasting my money on potions, but... Some of these are just for cuteness, and then some are super useful, like, this one's useful out of what we have unlocked so far. You, you unlock more potions, but this one's actually useful to start or stop waiting, because certain quests do require it to be waiting or not waiting. And some of them are just cute. Um, when I actually have money later on, I will be buying these and testing out and sewing their effects. Back down to the mountain. And... Um... You know what? We... Thank goodness there's no fall damage in this game. I took the shortcut. <clears throat> now which way is town? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is that Char? <gasps> it's Char. Okay. Yes. I figured that one, a potion shop owner would have a black cat, and two, with a name like Char, it probably looked burnt and crispy, so yeah. Probably a black cat. I am going to go deliver you to your owner as badly as I would love to explore the town right now. I really want to progress the storyline just a little bit. And then after this, I will give you guys a little tour of the town. Because hopefully this is the last back and forth for a while. Gotta love those physics. Why don't I stick you on my head? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that kitty wiggle. That is so unnecessarily cute. Okay, let's, let's get the cat. And let's drop you off here. Okay. I just now noticed that the quest description actually described what the cat looked like. <laughs> what? Well, I was going to ask what's for sale, but need anything? Yes, I know. Um, okay, do I have to hold? I th oh, I have to hold the cat when I bring it back. Is this your char? Can you help with the landslide? That would be great in payment. back tomorrow. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. I'm not gonna go to sleep yet, though. This is a great opportunity for me to give everyone a tour of the town. And I think this time I'll take the long way back down the mountain. I won't jump off of it again. I don't feel very magical goal-esque in my current outfit, <laughs> but... It's the best I have right now. So, we already met Maya earlier. Now, let's go poke the rest of the villagers. 
We'll explore up here first since we started to before we were distracted by char. So this charming cat gentleman right here is Oliver. Oliver speaks solely in meows and mews. Um, just saying hi. Mew. Okay. And you can buy random stuff from him. Some of the stuff can be expensive, but his stock, what's nice about it is that it completely rotates. So you could get some whale baking recipes. You can get some whale sofas or other furniture. I love the Toby and sofa. Definitely buying that when I can afford to. You can get a little more whale toys from him. And yeah, so his inventory is nice. A little pricey, but nice. Um, this pen is actually really cute because you can store animals in here if you want to be able to find them later. This adorable little bunny I'm trying to catch right here is... Oh, so cute! I didn't even get to see your name. Okay. What is your name? Stanford. As much as I would love to squish you and adopt you and keep you to myself for my cafe... Oh my gosh, you're cleaning yourself. You know you're cute. That's not fair. I can't keep you because I think you belong to someone. <clears throat> And this is Ash. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, my throat this morning. So even though Ash works technically at the general store, you never really see them there. <laughs> They're always usually here. Unlock the design. Ah, now I want to talk to you again. See, it's nighttime now. Now there is a person. Multiple potions later on you can find to speed up or slow down time to make it night, make it day. I'm going to see if Ass needs anything. <clears throat> well, that's not very nice. If you couldn't tell from all the jack-o'-lantern motifs and skull tattoo on ass, they're more into the creepy side of decor. Um, I guess feedback accepted. I, I, I'm a little insulted, but I have to give my customers what they want. Okay, so did that register as a quest? Um, yes, it did. I think I'm going to actually track that quest, so. Um, just for reference, if you hit one, brings up the townsfolk, you can scroll through, and it gives you a little bit of information about each of them. It also shows you how many hearts you have with them. I still haven't figured out what the hearts influence in this game. There really is no relationship system, so I'm not sure what the hearts really influence. Maybe it influences how often they show up to your cafe. I'm not I'm not sure. It does show you what preference they have on taste of the food in the cafe, whether savory or sweet. And you can go to animals. It will show you the animals that you have unlocked. Um, if you have an accessory for the animal, you can equip it here. You can quickly choose whether you want them to free roam, be at your cafe, or in your party. Now, when an animal is in your party, they follow you around very cutely, um, and you can choose to interact with them while they're following you. Quest, like I just showed you, is the quest log. Clicking the box next to it, you can either put a check mark or get rid of the check mark, and if it, there's a check mark next to it, it shows you that they, that you're tracking it. If you press 4, you can bring up the map, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, that little paw print icon is a U, and if you hit 5, you can bring up the character customization that we saw at the beginning of the game and change your character at any time. So you're not stuck with whatever you chose at the beginning, because if you're like me and messed up on eye color, hair color, whatever you can easily fix that. So let's introduce ourselves a little more. This is Sunny.
I saw something. <gasps> Another calico cat. Pud I love Pudge. I'm adopting you. This is, without a doubt, one of my most favorite animals in this game. From the heart shaped nose to the chubbiness to the fact that he's named Pudgems, he is perfection. Look at him. Look. Look at this perfect creature. Look. Pudgy, 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 pudgy. Okay. I am keeping you with me. You are going to follow me around. Actually, there's a person to supersize an animal and make them a giant. So for a while, I was actually riding on Pudgems in my last <laughs> saved game. And as you can see, when you have an animal follow you in your party, they do stay with you. Some might be a little slower like Pajams, but they will catch up. And let's speak to Blossom. And let's go down the hill right here and speak to some of these lovely people. This is Estelle. I always loved Estelle's design. She reminded me of like a classic witch type design. Okay, so you can buy stuff from Estelle. <clears throat> and White Nails is in the middle giving me a quest actually. Pretty easy. It's just a delivery quest. <clears throat> I can do that. I would like to show you what you can purchase from ah, Estelle, though. So Estelle um, tends to offer furniture and recipes, which we could knock out Ass's quest and buy piece of spooky furniture. <clears throat> I can't remember if they gave me a piece of spooky furniture. Let me actually check for us before I go buying anything. No, I have no furniture. Now, if I buy that piece of furniture, I'm not going to have any money left. But, I'll get a reward. I think, I think I'm going to hold off for now, actually. I'm going to hold off until I have a little more. And the single-handedly most important person in the game, Maribel. This is who will outfit you. This is who you're going to buy clothing from. Oh, now you're just being polite. My outfit is absolutely nothing special at all. That is a very cute design that I unlocked, though. Reminds me of Miffy. Miffy bunny. So... Um, you can obviously recolor any of these things. Yes, yes. I'm so glad I didn't buy the spooky furniture. I need a sword. Yes, thank you. Let us promptly put that on and get rid of these atrocious spikel style swords. Um, a bottom, and let's put this. Oh, I look so much cuter. Yes, I'm instantly happy. Look, I have a sword on now. Yay! Okay. So... <clears throat> there is another town. Well, it's more like a city that you can go to. But we're not quite ready to go there yet. I'm gonna finish um, introducing you to everyone here. Is Pajam still with me? Did Pajam's disappear? No, there's Pajam's. He's coming. He's getting there. You know what, Pudgems? Kitty Pie. I'm gonna take Morsi on you. And I'm going to put you at the cafe where you can rest your wheel. Yes, as, as adorable as that is, going to the cafe means going to the cafe, not napping on a flower. Okay. Oh, so cute. 
a web panda named Patches. Now, as you pick up and interact with animals, you'll unlock more and more panels. Oh, they added a chicken. Oh my gosh, I think the chicken is new. Chicken. Oh, I need the chicken. I love chickens. I really love chickens. I love chickens so much. And no, not to eat them. <laughs> no, I do not eat chickens. I, I prefer tofu. I love to cuddle chickens and pet them. The chicken will be joining me in my cafe as well. <clears throat> Are there such a thing as chicken cafes? Not chicken cafes as in where you eat chicken, but where you can pet chickens. This is Kiva, as we met Oleo. Yes, I have a package from Estelle. Okay. Now, I was not tracking that quest. I will track it now. <clears throat> um, something is wrong with these guys. These are, they are not following me to the cafe, so I'm just gonna manually, I hope they didn't break the game with an update that would make me sad. Where did my chicken go? Maybe the chicken took off. Maybe the chicken is going. Pajum seems to have forgotten how to move. Pajums, you're adorable, but you need to get to the cafe. Maybe if I sleep, it will show the animals they were morning. I'm almost done introducing you to the townsfolk. This is Lily. And Lily, of course, wants a flower store. Do you need anything, Lily? Wow! As someone who loves mushrooms, I did not know there were that many species. Sure, I can do that. <clears throat> oh, I accidentally skipped what she said. Sorry, guys, I accidentally held down the space bar a little too hard. And this is Poppy, or Pops. And a cute little detail is that look. He has flowers in his beard. There seems to be another black cat wandering around. This one is named Chompy. And they're not all black. Look, they're more of a tuxedo cat. So I think I'm going to go back to the cafe, which there's a quicker way to do that. <coughs> if you hit tab. And you go to your persons. There's a teleport to cafe person. Activate that. Look, you're right outside the cafe. And my animals are nowhere to be seen. Oh, there they are. So I have a wonderful chicken and pajams. And if I remember correctly, I think there is a way to get the animals outside. So star sign. Um, I guess I guess they can't go outside. I guess they're just indoors. I'm hoping that the bales and the deal stay outside like they used to. This is my collection of animals so far, and then the random calico cat that is still wandering around. Oh, there you are, calico. So, let's save and sleep, and then I'm going to be ending this. Oh, they added some artwork. So they actually have updated the game quite a bit since I played. As cute as that is, let's get up for the day. Okay, and with that, I will be ending this, and I will see you the next time I play.